About a year has passed since the family-owned factory Scar was sold to the legendary investor Warren Buffett for four billion dollars. Today, the man who built the factory with his own hands wants to put the sale in proportion. אני סמך שבאפת נכנס לעסק הזה, אני סמך שישכר, אנשים הנהדרים של ישכר עושים עבודה כל כך טובה, אבל הייתי מעדיף קצת לחיות איתה בשקט. החיים שלך השתנו בשנה האחרונה? אני שולחי לא טוב חומוס. סטף וורטהיימר perhaps eats the same חומוס, but he can indulge himself in a lot more. Forbes crowned Wertheimer as the richest man in Israel, whose fortune is estimated at four billion and four hundred million dollars. The industrialist managed to take top place from Sherry Arison, who held the title of richest Israeli for many years. But Wertheimer said that money will not make a person happy. Wertheimer didn't only receive the title of one of the richest men in the world, this week he received the award for corporate leadership. Warm blessings were sent to him by the second richest man in the world and the man who bought Iskar, Warren Buffett. He had a vision and has succeeded uh, to a degree that, uh, uh, frankly, he's a... Uh, a marvel of the world as far as I'm concerned. He's a very important part of the company of the Israeli company that led to the company that was in the value of $4 million. The Israeli tycoon really wants the engrossment in the sale of Iskar and his great wealth to die down and wants Israeli public interest to focus on the message he has tried to relay for many years and that is to invest in traditional industry. רוב הדברים הם דברים נורא פשוטים, כמו שעסקה עושה, כמו שאלוהות עושה, כמו שטבע עושה, לא הייטק, ורוב ההייטק בעצם ברח מפה, והם לא פה, הם במפעלים, הם בארצות הברית. It may be tough for Wertheimer to accept the fact that if not for his billions, it's highly doubtful that anyone would pay attention to his vision as important as it may be.